Hey, good morning guys, this is Mike, Mike Cooks and Builds. Well, uh, today I made some pulled pork. Beautiful, beautiful pulled pork. So, I'm gonna, this is taste test time for me, but I'm doing this at the beginning. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Spicy, sweet. Mm, so tasty. Well, if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, leave me a message. Let me know if I'm doing things right or wrong. All messages help. Thanks very much, guys. Big thumbs up from Mike. Hey, guys. Mike back again. So, I'm just going to get myself a bit of pork ready. I'm just removing some of the silver skin off the top of it. It's a little bit on the tough side for it. But I'm just going to be making a little bit of pulled pork. Some of this fat I want to leave. But this stuff here, it's very tough. We'll just gently take that off. We don't get rid of too much meat in this process. And we'll just work our way through. Being pulled pork, we need to have some of this fat for flavour. I would have got a, a shoulder, but all he had was a loin. So I'm making do with what, I, what I've got as normal. But that'll do for that one. We can remove stuff after the fact, but I'm just going to cube this up, ready to go. I am not doing this the traditional way because I just need cubes of onion. Pull all the skin off. Put that to one side. So, cut in half. quick chop just like that garlic four or five cloves to the squash give them a quick squash Cut the root end off and then they come straight out of the skin. Simple. Just quick chop. That's all we need. Ingredients for the sauce, one large onion, four to five cloves of garlic, quarter cup of brown or golden sugar, half a cup of apple cider vinegar, one cup of barbecue sauce, one tablespoon yellow mustard, chilli powder and Worcester sauce, one cup of chicken stock, half franks, half a cup of tomato sauce, half a cup of thyme and basil. And seasoned pork that I done earlier. Time to throw all of this into the crock pot. Onions, garlic, golden sugar, our herb mixture. Give that a stir around to start combination. Chicken stock. 
vinegar, our chili powder, mustard, and mustard sauce, barbecue sauce. Our franks and ketchup. Give that a good stir, combining all ingredients. Add our seasoned cubed. Get your fingers in there if you pork. need to. Sticks together once in a while. Don't be afraid to get your fingers in there if it's not moving. And then give that a good stir around so we combine all of our flavours. Now for the time that we need patience. I do sometimes brown this off first as well. I just thought I'd quick mention that sometimes I brown my pork off for a richer flavour. On a high heat. So now we've got that four hours. Done. We need to wait and we'll check it after that time six see hours falling on apart. high eight to ten hours on low that's the best way i can do it if it still doesn't want to pull apart give it another hour or so but we'll come back once we're all cooked there have fun guys i'm going to go and have a little rest hey guys well there we are about halfway through just going to give that a good stir up Make sure all, some of the bits are at the bottom, make them at the top. The smell is fantastic. So I found the easiest way to go at this is just go in with two forks, find the pieces and rip them apart. That's all we need to do. If it's cooked properly, it should pretty much just fall apart. Keep your forks clean. Even sometimes just actually using the back, just forcing them down. Like there, just pulls that out. Just pull it all apart. We want it nice and loose, no big lumps left. And then when we go back into that gravy, sauce, whatever you want to call it, then we will let that cook down without the lid on and let it thicken up nicely. Pull that back in. It's beautiful, beautiful pulled pork mix. And that'll soak up a lot more of that juice and then we'll put it on the fire a little bit longer well if that don't look magical i don't know what does yep beautiful soon time for a taste test i will let you know